Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make oobleck. This will be a very simple tutorial, so let's get right to it. All that you need is some cornstarch, some water, and some food coloring. And the food coloring is optional. You don't even really need it if you don't want to use it. So what you need to do is you need to get some cornstarch and you need to put it in the bowl. Now this is what the proportions are like. You need two times the amount of cornstarch as you need water. So if you're using one cup of water, you need two cups of cornstarch. If you're using two cups of water, you need four cups of cornstarch. If you're like me and you want to use only a little amount to make a little bit of oobleck, I am using a quarter cup of cornstarch, so I will need half that amount in water, which is an eighth of a cup of water. That's what I'll be using. So a quarter cup of cornstarch, put it in the bowl, all of the cornstarch, get it all in there. Okay, now I'm just going to pour an eighth of a cup of water into this little uh, measuring cup over here. Let's get an eighth of a cup in there. All right, now I have an eighth of a cup of water in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just put some food coloring in there. Let's add some color just like that. I'm going to add quite a bit of food coloring because I want this to be nice and red, this oobleck. All right, so now we're going to take this water and you're going to pour almost all of it into the cornstarch mix. Now I'm going to try and do this while keeping one hand fairly clean. So I'm only going to be mixing with one hand so I can use the other hand to do things that aren't dirty around this bowl and not get the outside of the bowl dirty and so forth. So pour almost all of the water in there. Leave a little bit in here because you can add, this might be a little too much. Um, so I, I'd rather have a little bit left in here than pour a little too much in there. But this is the rough, uh, the rough amounts, the rough proportions that you need. Once again, you need two times the amount of cornstarch as you do water. So now what you want to do is you want to start mixing it around. As you can see, I'm mixing with my right hand. And you will see that this actually creates this absolutely awesome consistency. When you touch it, it's ridiculously hard. It's like rock hard. But then when you let it go, it literally just melts away. So I'm just gonna mix it. I do think that I need a little bit more of the water, so I'm gonna pour a little bit more just like that. Okay, let's keep mixing it. As you can see, I'm, I'm scraping it and it's rock hard. But then if you let it go, you can see it melts away. This is what it's gonna be like. When you pick it up, it's rock hard then it just simply melts away. So I'm gonna finish mixing this in the bowl. Let's get all of the remaining cornstarch, uh, bring it into the mix, just like that. You can use a mixing spoon or a spatula, but I'd rather do it like this. I like doing it like this. All right, so this is the oobleck. Now you can make it a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner, but as you can see, I have a little bit of water left over. Um, so as you can see, it's it'll literally just melt away, just like that, but if you scrape it, you can see that it's rock hard. Just as you can see right there. And if you pick it up and you squeeze it, it's rock hard, but then it just melts away. Now I'm actually going to add just a touch more cornstarch to this. So let's just add a little bit more. Once again, you can sort of use your judgment. You can make it a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner. I like it a little bit thicker. So like I said, I'm just going to add this little bit of cornstarch. Let's add it to the mix right here. And you will find that if you add a little bit extra cornstarch, just like I did right there, you can get a really hard oobleck when you squeeze it and then it will literally melt away just as I said before. So right now it's all mixed up and I'll show you how hard it is. So if I pick it up, let's just mix it a little bit more. If I pick it up, it's like rock, rock hard, right? But then it just melts away. If you squeeze it, it's rock hard and then it just completely melts away between my fingers. It's absolutely amazing. And all that I used was a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of flour. You can see that it's still hard on my finger right here, but then it's melting. Look, I'll make an indent on it and then it will just, the indent will go away because it's literally melting right off my fingers. So it's, you can pick it up. It's rock hard, rock hard, but then it just melts rock hard. Then it melts away. You can literally make a ball out of it. Look, like it's rock hard. I'm making a ball out of it. Check that out. Rock hard ball. And then, see you later, melting away. And that's how to make oobleck. It's actually really simple. The proportions that I gave you were rough proportions, but then you can fine tune them by adding a little bit more water or a little bit more cornstarch or not adding the full amount of water like I did. Uh, but you can completely fine tune them to 
fit your desired style. And for some people that like it a little bit harder or thicker uh, with regards to the consistency, then they might want to add more cornstarch, less water. But for some people that want a thinner consistency and easier melting of the oobleck, um, then you just want to add uh, basically more water, less cornstarch. But it's completely up to you. That is how to make oobleck. And I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, the rough numbers are uh, two times the amount of cornstarch that you use water. So if you're going to use one cup of water, you want to use two cups of cornstarch and so forth. And that's basically it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video tutorial. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.